Hello everyone. Hello everyone. This is Muhammad Furkan. Today I will be telling you how to make an Android app and which will interface with ESP8266 module. Uh, don't worry about the code. The code will be provided to you on www.swymhome.com. Uh, for now on let's start what's important in making Android app for the first you have to create a new project go to file new project you can give you app name like ESP to what's the spelling of tutorial I just tutorial press enter next coming here you can see you are making an app for a phone or tablet, or TV, or we are just interested in phone and tablet so only check in phone and tablet. The minimum is DK. It's the it could be 14, 15 but for now on it's 14 is the good. So again clicking into now this is the main activity which will be like we have a lot of don't worry what's all about you can you only need to have the first the empty activity because we don't need anything in our main activity taking that hitting don't change the names of you want you can press enter now you get you will your project will be start creating when your project gets created it's simple i'll ask you to grab this whole code bunch of code to your new project which will be provided to you on share watch you make home.com I mean s w u m home.com mm -hmm. so after that now just simply explaining you a bit of the code this code in this code there will be a comments for you when I'll bring this code so this is the name of those SSID and password of your ESP module. Something here we got three buttons. As I've mentioned, the one thing you can do these three buttons. I've linked these three buttons to my Java program. How I did that? Simple. When you and the new tutorial is here. So come here. Wait, wait a minute. Here, here you can see. Removing this, I'll be placing a button like, for example, here a button. It's a button, just add one new line which I've added in the ma already made project. It's line number here, this one on click. Now, this line make it actually connects my XML, the, the view file, to my Java file over here just a minute here this is the exactly the same name as given for there what happened when I click this button it runs Wi-Fi manager it runs and connects to the Wi-Fi module which is available to it just don't forget to give the name and pass the same for what you have done it will be uh, while connecting if there is no network pass you can use the key management equal to none you can delete all this and then you got three LEDs these are the three LEDs button as you can see over here the button one two and three only just have added this button and the other is just by dragging and of course renaming my button after that I, I've used this L3 is something L3 L2 L1 these are used for these actually boolean values which are used for manipulating between on and off when I send two let's suppose it gets on the LED 3 gets on and when I let's suppose send four it will get on now what it does is there is another class called client which is here it creates an object for that it send the value in the form of byte and using the class run method to send value and in run you have given the server address port name these are given as you can see this is the main packet which is formed while while sending it in packet we need the the byte the byte length 
server address, server port, and just send it. And in the last, it's a good practice to close before doing. So the another, another important file, it is the manifest file. In manifest file, I have added these bunch of permissions. These are used for basically using internet, Wi-Fi access, and definitely I'm using a hardware. So I mean Wi-Fi hardware, which is there on my mobile. So I've given these are the features and permissions which I'll be using. So it's important to mention them before using them. Now coming towards my ESP module here, what comes? You can see this is the project. All the variables and setup well what, what happened over here is all just setups the, the buttons for the st for a start all of them are low configuring it by using my IP and address which I have done over there and connecting it if it's connected this is a function usually be connected in the last it checks while it is connected or not if it's yes then true then it gives value back true if it's not connected then it gives false and then i've used a bunch of code like for example if server 9 i've uh, if the video is 9 or led 3 i've used well, i've made it high i mean turning on my led 3 this is the this will be shown on eprompt and then again if it's 10 led will be low i mean and showing it on my EEPROM and then digital light is equal to low which means off similarly for the for the LRD2 and LRD1 this is whole code simply when you got the hardware run the button verify your core and run it and you can check in it on your EEPROM which you can get it from here and you're good to go thanks for watching the video Hopefully you like it. See it on swymhome.com.